today is going to be an interesting day. We're switching it up a little bit. We got a. This is our first time guest. First timer ever on the podcast. You won't recognize him ever, and from any other episode, I promise, because it's the first time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oh. They might recognize that laugh, but <laughs> they're gonna look at it and be like, "Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Yeah. when do we see him again?" <laughs> they're gonna look through all the episodes. You don't look like Savage. <laughs> <laughs> what? Great start, Obi. Great. Thanks for having me, y'all. Appreciate it. I really do. This is our pest control guy, the number one dude in all of Las Vegas. He takes care of every property. He saved me from scorpions. Black Widows, and all types of other creepy shit. Bees. I've had bee problems. Have you taken care of them, bro? Wasn't there rats, too, at the last house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was rat problems. I do it all, huh? You do, man. I try. I try. And you know what? To be honest, it's 100% effective every single time. All right, now you got to pay me for this sponsorship. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I'll throw you a little kick there. <laughs> nah, but this is our boy right here, the bug man himself, Mr. Blue Fire. Yes. Is that what we're calling you today? Why not? All right, cool. I got so many names that people call me. It's pretty crazy. Which, which one are your favorite? Like sexy? My favorite? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They just, they call me every different thing. Kayshawn. Uncle Kiki. Uncle Kiki. Kiki. Okay. Sanjay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Mr. Blue. Mm. Mr. Blue Fire. There's a lot. The 10 incher. Hey. <laughs> professional land <laughs> no no i was talking about you know the the sprayer oh, yeah, 10 inches long, long. My, my, my spray gun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, pretty, it's all the bugs but let's be honest though this fit is sick bro appreciate it appreciate it because you know i am a local superhero yes you are you really are save all the damsels in distress from their bugs problems i try it's a tough job out there but somebody's got to do it you know What's what's like the clientele that's like you that you really have like a lot of times is it like family households? Yeah, really residential homes, families, um, everybody really, anybody who's got bugs, and that's Vegas. Do you have like a specific market that you hit more though? Mm, I would say wives. Mm. Yeah, because they're the ones who usually want a professional to come in there and mm. handle their problems for them. Uh, I see. I don't know why they don't want their husbands to just do it. Literally, I talk to their husbands. They're like, Ugh, <laughs> I don't know why she doesn't just let me do it. But it just is what it is. I think, yeah, that makes sense. I think women are more likely to pay for services anyways, naturally. Yeah. yeah. And like, they're, maybe they, <laughs> I don't know if that's like a, like, a, like a diss on men or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, your man can't get the job done, so we got to hire somebody else. Yeah, that's just how it happens been like that for years i've been doing this for 12 years now what, what, what was like the uh, like the reason why you kind of just propelled into starting your own business yeah, it was pretty scary starting off i mean i just felt like i was kind of capped out at yeah. what i was doing when i was working for someone else and i felt like this was the next step it's what i wanted to do for a long time but i just kind of you're talking about like opportunity wise or like money or both okay yeah but I'd planned on doing it a long time ago. That's what I, is when I what I initially started. That was my idea, but I just kind of got complacent. I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Working for someone. And right. 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 It's easy good, to. Follow. I had a good job. I was getting paid pretty good, pretty well. So. It's like it's like one of those things where like they pay you just enough so you don't yeah. quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I was definitely number one paid at my company. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Damn. And then you were like, nah. But I was also putting in the most hours, the most work, mm. breaking my back the most. So I still have that. So the hard work is not an issue for me. Yeah. Now it's just a whole different ball game, owning the business. So yeah, for I sure. love it though. It's definitely fun and but what's different like challenge. Yeah. What's what's the moment that like really broke it for you? Because like you, you know you have when you start a business and, or when you're working for your for somebody. And then you're like, hey, this is the time for me to break into this. Because a lot of people just stay there, like naturally. Like, let's be honest, everybody gets cat, like, caught in this life where you can't go anywhere, really. What's that, like, what's that pushing point for you, like that breaking zone? <laughs> for me, 
Good question. Okay. What's the breaking zone? What broke me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What broke me and made me say, I got to go all in? Because that's literally what I said. I got to go all in. It's now or never, you know? Hmm. Let me take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even alcohol. <laughs> Caffeine. Oh, I know why. And any 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 great man's legacy begins <laughs> with a heartbroken. That makes sense. I knew that was going there. It's always a woman. Why do you have to ask? I knew you knew. I, I Why do you have know, to ask? I, I didn't know. I, <laughs> hey, I was just, I thought you were going to give me like a professional fucking like. That's really know. what did it. <laughs> I mean, that's, sometimes that's what it takes though. Let's be honest, right? I mean, it just shows that like, you know, you, you can turn any bad situation to good. Any bad situation that happens to you can turn into a motivation to become greater than you actually ever knew you can ever be. That's yeah. very true because <clears throat> I just look at the amount of growth I've had in the past year and it's insane. I feel like a whole different person. Life's turned around. It's been affecting other people around me and it's been super positive and it could have went the other way. Yeah, I, I think it, what happened is like uh, in, a, in, a, in a weird way, you kind of like figured out your value. Oh yeah, for sure. Right? That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Uh, anyways, what's some crazy shit that happens? Cause like the pest control world, I can only understand like, you know, I'm sure you deal with like it from a from like a just a regular standpoint, it's just like a job, right? But there's always something interesting that goes down in the job. Yeah. What's something that's like day to day you look forward to like day to day? <clears throat> Honestly, just meeting new people. Like, you know, when you just get a new client, a new a new lead and mm -hmm. somebody wants to sign up for service, that's always the best for me because I really get to show them what I'm about mm. versus other companies out there. Right. So yeah, you're just not like a, they're just not like a number to you. Yeah. 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 yeah that makes they, sense. they really get to meet me and see, feel out my personality, see if they really want to keep me on as a recurring service. Company. Right. So you're earning that business every month. That's right. what you're saying. Exactly. That's pretty good shit. What's, what's some like scary stories? I mean, scary. Yeah. For like a housewife. <laughs> Why would they call okay. you? I had one last week. Okay. I was supposed to be off on Sunday. But someone called, they're like, this is just how, okay, this is how, this will make you understand how serious housewives are. Okay. I get a call. I think it's like 5 PM on Sunday. I'm really off. I'm in bed, <laughs> but I'm still going to answer my work phone right? just to see, maybe I can do it the next day. But she's like, OMG, you have to get over here. There's a giant grasshopper on my door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Ma'am, a grasshopper? Just one. A single grasshopper? Yes. Wow. I can't get in and out of my house until this grasshopper is gone. So I set her up for a general service. I do everything. I get, I get there. She's not joking. <laughs> I get there. The grasshopper is the size of my arm. No Jesus shit. Jesus Christ. Yes, and it's on the front door. I grab it with my gloves. The ones you... They're really strong gloves, so... I grab the thing from the back and it grabs my hand. No. <laughs> and you can feel the strength. So I, I, I kind of understood why she needed me to get out there. A and big ass grasshopper. Yeah, like 12 inches. Dude, I've never and seen I walked it across the street. I put it in a tree and it flew all the way back. <laughs> to her door? <laughs> to her door? Yes. <laughs> it did not want to leave. So I had to just kill it. But oh, shit. did you take a picture? Did you kill it? No, I didn't take a picture. I stomped I, on it. Oh, it's the most humane they say. Oh. Jesus, that must have been a big ass splat. It was disgusting. Oh, that's <laughs> Is that the yeah. biggest grasshopper you've seen? Never seen anything like it. The the limbs were like as fat as my fingers. How does a grass? Is that can they get that big? Yeah. Yeah, aren't those the ones that eat crops and shit and like will ruin like yeah. farmers' crops? Yeah, they get really bad. Can you imagine a swarm of those? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like you see, the, you see the swarm of yeah. grasshoppers and moths we get every year, like a couple weeks ago, but can you imagine those things? Yeah. Jesus, that's terrifying. Yeah, they're yeah. the ones that like destroy people's crops, dude. Dude, like, can you imagine yeah, one like of those farmers flying right at you, dude? I would fucking don't know what to do. Well, that's the reason why like <laughs> pesticides are so necessary, right? Like, yeah. that's crazy because it really does save like farmers' crops. Like, but also like, I know there's like in, in this world, there's a lot of like, oh, we should eat organic and like, you know, very against pesticides. But in, in your world, you're like, this is very necessary. Yeah. I mean, but the mo most, for the most part, a lot of the pesticides that we do use are pretty safe and 
Uh, the typical one that a lot of companies would use is made from a plant, mm. uh, chrysanthemum flowers. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty natural, but they do kill bugs. Like they work super well. It's a derivative of a plant. Yeah. Makes sense. Wow. What's the most uh, dangerous bug in Vegas they can encounter? For I mean, I guess scorpions, spiders, black widows, anything that's venomous. Brown you know? Yeah. I know you were just telling me about that. Yeah. Your, your girlfriend's mom got bit. Yep. Yeah. Did he show you the picture of her? I didn't. No. It was bad. Yeah, it was really bad. Damn. Dude, it's fucking gnarly. It's like a whole welt of an elbow. Like, I was like, damn. Generally, if you get like stung or bit by these bugs, is it life threatening? It can be if you, it, it really depends on the person, but um, definitely go to a hospital. There's not a lot they can do for you, but you got to go. Yeah, you do. Like, <laughs> like um, they, he's right though. Like they can't really do anything about, but they will give you like for, for her bite that she got, she came in the same day she got bit. So like it had, it had like swollen up cause there's like a huge pus filled in the middle and it popped. And then I guess like from there, if you don't go in soon enough from a brown recluse bite, it starts to turn black. Yeah. And that's when like you start, it starts to eat your skin like a, like a it's flesh, a flesh eating virus. Yeah. Yeah. But like she went in there early and then they were like, oh, you just got to take these antibiotics. You got to ice it. So you don't, it doesn't hurt and like just get rest. And I was like, damn. Is there any remedies you can do right after a bite before you get to the hospital to like, you know, like. No. Postpone the injuries from like getting worse or anything like that? Like no, icing them or anything not, like that? It's not like a snake bite. Snake bites, you got to have somebody suck the venom out. Yeah. But I can't think of anything as far as bug bites. No. Isn't there like a little device for like mosquitoes and stuff that you like suck the bite out? I heard, I heard about that. It's like a little. It's I never heard thing. about that. Oh, really? It's like a little tube and you just. It's for like little stuff like mosquito bites, maybe spiders. I don't know. I don't know if they really work. I've never seen them, but yeah. I was researching it and then I was like, oh, what the heck is this? It's like a little tube that they sell like on. At Walmart and Amazon. Oh, I have to look into that. Yeah. You can slang them on the side. You always can. There's always an opportunity to sell something. That's true, man. Is there any uh, tips or tricks you can give um, some of the viewers like when, to avoid getting a... Uh, yeah, pests? man. Call your local bug man. I'm here. The number's going to be on the screen, right? I mean, if you want to plug it, you can. It's yeah. going to cost you extra. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, nah, he's all over his hat, bro. You just They just search him up. I mean, just keep your house clean, you know? Yeah. Cleanliness is the best thing. The, but, there's so many times I've gone gone into houses and it's just filthy and they expect me to magically get rid of all their bugs. You yeah. Know? It's, it's, it's impossible. Yeah, you were telling me about a story that uh, the outside, <clears throat> how you were saying some of these houses were, you know, like it, 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 even chemicals can't take care of them. Yeah, I, uh, ugh, ugh. You know, when I first started doing this, I had nightmares. For the first couple of years because of some of the houses I would see. I went into a house and there was a German cockroach infestation. Ooh. That's the ones that are everywhere. Right. Every nook and cranny of every bedroom. And I felt so bad because there really was nothing I can do. But you go in their garage and you seen that bit the bean bag you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that there's a pile of dog poop. Oh, oh what God. the fuck? Are you serious? Yes. That high off the ground. In the garage? That, why? Yeah. Why? Why don't you take it outside and you know D dispose of it? Yeah. Yeah. But no. That must smell. It's so everywhere. bad. And not only that, poop-filled baby diapers all over the house. Mm. Not in trash cans, just everywhere. Just laying around. It's people sleeping all over the floors and no furniture and just really. It's like a trap house. Yeah, but it wasn't. It's just filthy living. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why are you doing this? Dude, yeah, we, as, as a realtor, we've been to a few houses and it's like disgusting. Like I, sometimes you just wonder like, how do people actually live like this? You yeah. know, yeah. I mean, we just saw a house recently that we took, take a look, took a yeah, look I just at. went back to it yesterday yeah. and, and they were saying that, um, I was talking to one of the neighbors and she was saying that the, she was like, it, I heard it's pretty bad in there. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty bad. And she was like, you should have seen it before the cleaner crew came. I was like, what, what are you talking this about? This was after the cleaner yeah, crew? Yeah, after, after God, the cleaner damn. crew, bro. And then she was like, I was like, oh, so if you know a little bit, what, what happened in there? And she was like, I think they were like hoarding dogs mm. inside the garage. Uh, that would explain the smell in the garage. Yeah, exactly. And then she was like, yeah, there was like a whole bunch of dogs in the garage. And she was, like, her husband was also there. He was like, hey, yeah, man, it was so weird. We would have never known that all of this was going on because they were quiet neighbors. You would never know from these people. But it was a filth when they moved out. And I was like, oh, I could see it. It's disgusting. So I, I can I can only understand some of the houses that you walk into. Yeah, 
yeah, that gets pretty bad. Dude, I remember I went to uh this one uh unit <clears> Liston. <throat> it was like way out somewhere. But um you walk in there and there's like roaches everywhere. And we had uh some ter- uh exterminators come in there and they're spraying. You just literally start seeing them just start crawling up on the walls, the ceilings and everything. I was like, yo, what the fuck? It was like a horror movie. It's like a, that, those are German roaches, right? Yeah. yeah, they're like little ones. They're everywhere. Just you literally just start seeing them just run up the ceiling and shit, like just flocks of them. Like it was like a fucking like movie or something. I was like, yo, fuck this shit. I got out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Is it is it almost like nearly impossible to get rid of them? Because I've heard like if you live in an apartment complex, you spray one unit. But then they'll start migrating to another. Yeah, that happens because they get into the walls through the power outlets and they're all connected. So it's really easy to transfer them from one unit to the next. So the best way to get rid of them for any yeah, like, real estate investor, them. you got to spray all of them. Yeah. At one time. Yeah. Wow. And then how many times do you have to come back usually until you see something? It really depends, but I've always been able to get rid of them fully mm-hmm. within four treatments. That's pretty good. So what do you put in like the bait? You're putting down spray, a uh, really strong flushing agent, which will bring them out of their cracks and crevices, the hiding places, baits, gel baits. They eat it. Uh, German cockroaches are cannibals. So the bait will stay in their system. And then once they're dead, the other roaches will eat the dead ones and the poison is still in them. And then it just keeps on killing them like that. Then there's a. So it's like, so it's like AIDS well. for roaches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. And then there's another thing we use. Uh, an integrated uh, birth regulator. So it keeps Mm. them from being able to reproduce. So their eggs, they won't be able to harden. So they stay soft. They won't be able to lay their eggs and grow. Oh, so it's like birth control for roaches. Yep. Damn. We're pulling out all the stops. Yeah, you got to do a lot for these types of things because they do, they get everywhere. They reproduce the fastest. So if you're not on top of it, you'll get, you'll kill a little bit, but they will reproduce, reproduce faster than you killed them. So they, so like, even if you get rid of them for like one year, are they able to keep coming back like the year after? No, a year is good. Okay. If you don't have them for a year, you'd have to bring them back in in order for the oh, place to get reinfested. Gotcha. Damn. Yeah. That's still like, it gets me itchy. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, I had nightmares. Like I would wake up in hot sweats dreaming that I was just being oh, shit. engulfed in cockroaches because of the, some of the houses I would see. It was so bad. And it's like, this is new. And it's just all all in my head, you know? Yeah, yeah. But after the first couple of years, I got used to it. And now I'm just, it doesn't like, bother me anymore. Well, I think, you know, that also gives you like a motivational push to be like, I'm going to kill them all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and, fuck you, you fuck with just, my sleep. I fuck with you. <laughs> yeah. And to just motivate the people to clean, help them understand how important that is mm-hmm. for the process to work. So like, even like for a house <laughs> that's clean, like mine, right? Because I'm, I'm pretty spotless. I'm pretty. I love your house. Oh, thank you. So clean. Thank you. I'd eat off your floors if I could. Yeah, it's actually really clean. I, yeah. I clean it all the time. But so for like a house like mine where I have like sometimes issues with scorpions and bees, right? Because I have so many plants everywhere. Yeah. What, what you know, what's like the, the, the best way to go about it? I mean, that's it. You got a lot of plants and harborage areas where they can hide. So they're always going to be able to be able to hide in these places. It's mm-hmm. just important for me to treat these areas, put it, put something there to where if they do get in there, they won't be able to reproduce and live comfortably mm. so I, I know you, you mentioned this like a few few weeks ago a few months ago but our bee you were saying something about bees and they're like not as scarce as the media's trying to put them right oh man i did 10 bee services this week there's no shortage of bees <laughs> we're only on thursday <laughs> <laughs> no there's no shortage of bees they're they they come they go they do their thing but there's no shortage i don't believe it yeah that's crazy but then there's also different types of bees too right yeah. like i was watching this video recently where a police officer in california got stung to de- like well he didn't die but he what got criticalized and mm-hmm. in, in, and put into the icu yeah but yeah, i saw that video yeah I think, you know, those bees had have been dead against this guy <laughs> they were <laughs> like i just didn't picture like i just pictured like some dude just getting gang banged like by like a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of other fucking gang members just like he was on the yeah. ground like laying and there's like still a <laughs> attacking him he's like, <laughs> like yeah, dude, him like, down because they say like when like there's honeybees and then there's africanized bees right and that's yeah. when they start getting ferocious yeah so the africanized honeybees they are a mixture they're like a hybrid <clears throat> of african bees mixed with honeybees they look identical so people get them confused but they're so much more aggressive yeah if you're within if you're making loud noise within 100 yards of their hive they'll come and sting you really a yeah. hundred yards yeah like a lawnmower if they hear that they'll go attack the guy what God damn. happens all the time wow do you get do do you ever run into any here oh, yeah. in vegas oh yeah all oh we do have them yeah honeybees and africanized 
So honeybees will actually sting you too, just based off of that? Yeah. You'll notice with honeybees, they have a... It looks like they're wearing little yellow boxing gloves on their head. I ain't gonna look at a if honeybee ever, that close. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get really close in order to see it, but they, they're so cute. Like, they really are. Wait, so the honeybees are the ones that will attack you, or the African they bees? Both. They oh, both. Oh, they both know. will? Like, But the Africanized, you don't even have to be Oh, close. okay. You can be in the area, and they'll just start stinging. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the honeybees are really cute. If yeah, you but, ever take a chance to look at them up close, it's a shame you have to kill them. I like the Africanized ones, they're, they're like really bad. I was watching a video where this guy... Yeah. He's a uh, beekeeper, and he had, I think he had four boxes of honeybees where he was just, you know, making uh, honeycombs and all stuff like that. Yeah. But one of the boxes had gotten Africanized. I guess one bee got in there or something. I, I don't know what happens. Must have made it. Yeah, something happens like that. And then the whole thing got so bad to the point where, like, as soon as he walked out of his back door, which was, like, I, I would say probably, like, 50 to 60 feet away from where he had those, you mm -hmm. know, boxes, they would just instantly start stinging him. Yeah. And I was like, damn. And so he literally had to call the whole colony. Yeah, you see those videos where the <clears throat> they'll be holding the bees in their bare naked hands, mm -hmm. right? Because you can do that with bees. Mm. Sometimes I don't even need a bee suit to treat bees if they're not Africanized. But I've had some Africanized hives where they're just, they're just so strong and so ferocious. They've stung me through my bee suit. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> freaking Hell out. No. I'm running down the block. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can really do yeah, right it's all just... you can do is run <laughs> i wonder what your customers are thinking when you're just dipping i know like he's supposed to be the guy <laughs> they're like fuck this job <laughs> it's like no nah, fuck that i'm out dude <laughs> for real <laughs> oh my gosh dude. yeah they get really strong sometimes their stingers are really strong they've gotten stuck in my skin but they're also just like honeybees where they only sting one times and then they're dead yeah they die oh i see Damn. but that's how uh, committed they are to their queen they're ready to throw their life away yeah will the africanized bees uh attack the honeybees or are they pretty like cool with each other <laughs> <laughs> like yo what's up homie you're from different gang but it's cool i'm not sure now that you mentioned that that's a good question or like you know like there's a honeybee gang and then an africanized gang comes in they're like fuck these guys they'll well, definitely and then take over their uh their honey comb they'll definitely village. like mix uh -huh. and that's that's kind of just where that's how it all happened you yeah know? yeah oh, okay from just mixing race breed, race mixing, <laughs> call it biracial bees. <laughs> yeah, the biracial bees, <laughs> black and yellow. <laughs> so what's the so like for 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 a lot of people they don't they don't know the difference. I guess they can tell there's a difference between like uh like wasp and bees and stuff like that. Now wasps they can sting you repeatedly and they don't die. Mm. And they're just they don't serve a purpose, right? Um. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. Not really. So they're just assholes. Yeah, and they're a lot bigger. They drink water out of pools and any water source they can find. But um, yeah, they don't do anything positive for the environment. More, they're they're kind of like pick up and go, right? They don't stay around too long. But honeybees will stay around for a long time. Usually, with the with a wasp nest, you usually see them above your door or something like that. Um, they usually make those just to make their babies and have the hive long enough for the babies to be born. Mm. But there's no honey or anything like that. Gotcha. So they're not like long-term tenants. Right. And their hives are super easy to get rid of. You just crush it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Like like when they're all in there or what? Yeah. <laughs> easy. Wait, what do you like, <laughs> grab it or what? Yeah, you can. Like as long as you're you're not exposed. Like, yeah. That's how you do it? Yeah, it's super easy. What? You're fucking crazy. You punch it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wear special gloves or anything like that? Like, yeah. thicker gloves yeah, than normal? Yeah, gloves. Yeah. But, like, just as long as you do it real quick, they can't get you. Damn. Yeah. I want to see a video of this. You got to post that shit on Instagram, dude. I'll do. I'll take a video next time I do one. I did one yesterday. Oh. Five minutes. So you literally just put your hand in gloves and then you just... Wait for it and just grab it and yeah, holy shit! Yeah, wasps are easy because they're slow. They don't fly as fast as bees. Oh, okay, that makes sense. But they do sting uh, repeatedly. But their hives are never hundreds and thousands. It's usually ten to maybe twenty. Oh, that's it. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, but Super bees are totally different. Right. Damn. Huh. It's cool. I'm mind blown right now. Actually, referral. That's crazy. I thought they were like kind of like bees. They just had like a colony, but they just moved on. They were like gypsies. You know what yeah, I mean? Pick I mean, up and go. 
yeah, they don't they don't really don't stay in one place for too long. But the bees for sure do. They try to find a a good place and make their hive and have it as long as they can have it. But then here comes me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so like like I know Vegas is pretty simple when it comes to pests because we don't really have like a lot of crazy ones like compared to like Australia and stuff like that where they have like a thousand different things that can kill you. Right. But what is like some of the interesting things that like you do get besides, you know, the huge grasshopper? Do you ever get any like, do you get like people calling you for like reptiles and stuff ever? Is that considered a pest? Yeah, but there's not much you can do about that. It's usually homes that are right by the mountains. Mm. This It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. We live in the desert here. So there's not much you can do about that. What do you think is the coolest, snakes. coolest bug? Oh yeah, you deal with snakes too, right? Yeah. Sticky traps. I mean, you can catch them, but... You don't know where they're going to be. They're not like insects to where their path is. You can guess exactly where they're going to be. Sometimes they're just everywhere. They're anywhere, you know? Yeah, because like the other day on, on like social media, like on Facebook, I was reading some people's posts here in Vegas and they were saying they were spotting like uh, rattlesnakes here in Vegas. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I've seen rattlesnakes. Really? Yeah. Like how common is that though? I mean, it's not super common, but yeah, if you go out into the desert area, for sure you'll find a rattlesnake. Yeah, this one was like in office buildings, like on the outside by like tree, like, you know, the shrubs on the side of office buildings. I guess there was a rattlesnake just chilling on the branches. Well, that's odd. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, and then somebody else was taking a picture of their backyard and was like, oh my God, I just found a rattlesnake in my backyard. So I'm like, what is going on? I don't know if there's like, are they just coming back into Vegas? I think just with Vegas is growing so quick. I mean, we have built oh, ho new homes being built everywhere and yeah. getting further and further out into the wild. It's forcing things in. Yeah. It's crazy. And just forcing these animals to like, I mean, encounter them easier, I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's like the whole story of like why we have scorpions in Vegas in the first place, right? Was because yeah. of like the palm trees. Yeah, they bring them in from California. They don't trim them or anything like that. They don't treat them f with pesticides. They just bring them. Mm. That's where all the scorpions came from. That in Arizona. They reproduce by budding. It's pretty crazy. What's budding? So like, let's say they'll get pimples on their back. Mm. Each pimple grows and grows into another scorpion. So they, need, they don't need to get like inseminated or anything like that? I mean, they do, but like, they don't, you know how babies are born on the inside? Yeah. They're just on the outside. So they just grow. Mm. It's crazy. Is it like a, a wolf spider? Is that how they do it too? Yeah, just like wolf spiders. Because mm. they're in the same family. They're all arachnids. Scorpions and spiders are oh. the same. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Talking about all these bugs making me itchy. Yeah, I know. You've just been scratching yourself <laughs> no, I'm, like, time. I'm like, fuck. I just sprayed the place. We're good. I know. <laughs> it's like in my head. I'm like, fuck. I'm getting all itchy. Like, I'm like, dude, there's a scorpion next to my ankle right now. It's going to fucking sting me. And I'm going to be like in the hospital or some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy though. When you see them, like with all the little babies, they're... Yeah. Like, if you have a microscope or maybe a magnifying glass, you can see it. They just look like bumps. But then when you get close, you're like, oh, my goodness, those are tiny scorpions. Yeah. It's crazy. They can have, like, 12 to 24 babies at once. Oof. Yeah. God, and, and the little ones are usually the worst ones, right? Yeah, their venom is way more potent. Why so, is that? Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that they can't control the their the venom output. Makes yeah. sense. Oh. So they're just going willy-nilly <laughs> just like fuck you let's yeah. ejaculating everywhere yeah yeah especially when they're scared or whatever they just they just sting and give it all they got yeah so, so who, who should like generally be like you know like like worried for when 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 you they do have like a pest you know like is it like young kids elderly people yeah. with immune system yeah all three oh okay so i just hit all of them you said it okay gotcha but like yeah, somebody who's just old, young and healthy yeah, there's not much. You're not going to really have a negative side effect from being stung by a scorpion or getting stung by bees. Right. <clears throat> I mean, unless you're allergic, but how do you know you're allergic until it happens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And then you're fucked. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> there's nothing you can do then. So just run, run. Well, that's why you got to call you first. <laughs> yeah, prevention's the best thing, you know? Keep it from happening. There's going to, like, even with your house, I mean, we've had a couple of scorpions since I started, but it would have been so much worse if yeah, that's didn't true. have a solid layer of pesticides protecting your home. What's the coolest bug you've encountered so far? Probably tarantulas. Really? Yeah, I like them. They're they're really they're friendly bugs and they're huge like Yeah, we used to have one actually, I remember. Yeah. Just like that one. Yeah. Very. They're all They don't really attack or bite humans as much, right? No, no. So that's good. Yeah, I, I know I know I do know when the when tarantulas get irritated like they try to spud their hairs yeah. into your eyes. 
And those things suck. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they do what? So uh, tarantulas, when they get irritated or annoyed as their self-defense mechanism, they will uh, like use their back legs to scratch their ass, basically. And then the little fibers of their hair comes out into the air and it gets in your eyes. And that's how it deters like its predators and stuff like that. They try to fuck with it. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you got a tarantula and it's, and it's annoyed and it's trying to spread the hairs on its ass, then it's it's pissed off at you. But it usually won't bite you because we had one and that thing was super super chill. Only yeah, spider. Only oh yeah, you were there too. Yeah, I hate I hated that. The only spider. I would, the only spider I would chill with <laughs> is that tarantula. I hate sp spiders. Period. I don't give a shit what kind of spider. I remember we watch TV and the thing would just sit on our laps and we'll just watch TV. <laughs> yeah, I like tarantulas. They're pretty cool. How how do they um, how do they breed? I forget. I don't really know too much about them. They're pretty rare, but I've seen like seven or eight of them in my entire 12 years. My favorite though is the uh, blue iridescent mud dauber wasp. Those are so pretty. They're blue too. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And if you ever look at them, like they eat tarantulas too and spiders, black widows for sure. But like they have a an elongated body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'll shrink when they're like excited or get extra large when they're excited. They're pretty crazy to watch. Wait, so they're like a penis? Yeah. What? So they get erect and they get bigger? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Or they can get smaller too. Yeah. When it's cold outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> what it's called? pretty crazy. Like if you ever look at them, like you can see them doing their thing in the sun and they just glow. They're pretty and they're blue and they're shiny. We have them here in Vegas? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I've never seen What's one What's this bug called? The blue iridescent mud dauber wasp. Let's put blue mud so wasp. So pretty. Yo, these things look pretty sick. This one, right? Yeah, they're so pretty. Oh yeah, those are pretty dope. And we see so they, but they they are they live in the mud, don't they? They make like like capsule like like holes in the ground. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get them on the side of your house too. Like <clears throat> it'll look like a little cave made out of mud. Interesting. Yeah. Because they just take. I'm guessing they go and find mud and they just. Yeah. So the wasp, the regular type of wasps you see are a typical paper wasp. They don't use mud. They use they find paper mm. and they make their nests out of paper. Those the mud daubers make it out of mud. So do they sting you? Oh yeah, they can, but they're they wouldn't really. They're more mellow. Yeah, it's pretty sick. They usually sting their prey, something that they're gonna eat. Uh huh. Oh, so they're more like predatorial oh, yeah. when it comes to like sure. hunting. Yeah. So you want them around, is what you're saying? Yeah. But the wasp, the other one, the yellow jackets, you're like fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, nope, I'll kill them too. Will that wasp fuck up the other wasp? I don't know. I've never seen them fight. You know, I like watching bug fight videos online. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. interesting sometimes. Oh, do you ever get like centipedes and stuff like that? Because I know we have them yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. A lot of centipedes. Yeah. yeah. What's the worst house that you've ever been to? Mm. Oof. You see that picture that you have with the lady with the blood on her hands? Yeah. So imagine blood thrown all over the walls and all over all the furniture. What are you doing, like a murder scene house? <laughs> That's exactly what it looked like, right? Uh huh. But it was bed bugs. Oh, oh, disgusting. So bed bugs, they don't have a digestive system. So when they suck your blood, it goes in and comes out the exact same. Oh wow! So it's just blood everywhere, millions and billions of bed bugs. Old people that just never got it taken care of, and for some reason they didn't notice a problem. Oh, itchy. You're being eaten alive and thrown all over the walls. Like, yeah. So, what's the purpose of the bed bugs if they don't have a digestive system and they suck your blood up? That's just their purpose to eat and suck blood and spit it out. Yeah, I was watching this video on YouTube and they usually go for your feet. That's like the first place that they go. They usually crawl from your feet. Um, I never heard that. No. But they're attracted to the carbon dioxide that we emit at night. That's why they usually come out around 3 a.m. Mm. That's when you're breathing the most carbon dioxide. Mm. And that, that's why they're attracted to humans and dogs and pets like that. Oh. So, yep. That's a pretty big job too, right, bugs. Oh, yeah. I did one last weekend. What's that like? Like, do you have to, like, completely suit up and then you got to make sure, like, everything is good before you go in the house? Yeah, it's a very tedious process because the, the homeowner, they got to get everything ready for me to come in or else it won't do anything yeah because they get in everything they'll be behind all the photos on your walls inside of books really everything so so you, you gotta, just burn the house down better i mean if you really want to uh honestly if you have a piece of furniture that's infected with them you gotta if if you don't mind getting rid of it that's the best way to get rid of them. Uh, just get rid of it 
because treating it sometimes can be more difficult than just buying a new one mm -hmm. and more expensive as well. So yeah. what's the process like to get rid of bed bugs? You have to launder or dry clean all of your clothes, all of your, everything in your furniture, like in cabinets and everything has to be taken out, put into bags, at least left out in the hot sun for a few days because the mm -hmm. heat will kill them. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're able to steam everything, oh yeah, I heard about steam that. clean. That would be, that would help a lot. So do um, you go in and steam clean the client's house? No, I don't have time for all of that. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yeah, that would be. I could, I could make make that a part of the service, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be, be a big so cost. More. Yeah, yeah, it's, a lot it's of already time. up there. Yeah. <laughs> already up there. Yeah, I can um, only imagine. What would a job like that cost? Depends on the size of the house, uh, how many rooms there are. But so you have to do the whole house, huh? Yeah, some people try to get over. Um, they'll just want one bedroom treated, but you're going to have them in another room. Mm. You might not think you do, but they don't just stay in one area. They're everywhere. So do you just like fumigate you the whole house? The whole house. Yeah. And every piece of furniture or else you're going to get a callback and that's not what you want. You want to solve the issue. You know how like in certain like states, like in California, they have like, um, they have like mites and, uh, termites and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So how, how do you like, you know how like they... I don't know if they still do it, but they where they just cover the whole entire house. Is is that something that happens here in Vegas? It used to. Um, there's a couple of companies out there when I first started that were still doing it. It's, I mean, I don't know how well it worked, but you got to think about it. There's definitely areas in the house that would not be treated if you do that. Mm. You know? Like the harder places to get into, you're saying. Yeah. So that's probably why it's not so, so like, it's such a big thing here in Vegas, huh? Yeah. I think definitely liquid pesticides is the best. But even then, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of bugs grow immunity to pesticides. So you have to switch it up every few months because they'll just get used to it. Oh, uh, like you, like the, I've heard that German roaches are like that. They get yeah, used you to You got to switch up the baits very mm, often. I see. Scorpions like that too? I'm not sure. Uh, I've had, no, I've been, had pretty consistent results with scorpions. Cause they're arachnids, right? So yeah. like it just gets on their exoskeleton and then usually just dry yeah. out and die. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. They're pretty, I like the sound they make when they're dead. What scorpions? Yeah. They're very crispy. <laughs> very crispy. Wait, they make sounds? The, yeah. When you step on. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, are they like, yeah, they ee! definitely. <laughs> <laughs> also the scorpions like <laughs> screaming out there. <laughs> you know, you know what bug I think is pretty cool? The prey mantis. Mm, yeah. I think prey mantis are pretty sick. Yeah, if, if you good. if you had to avoid killing any bug, what would it be? For what reason? I don't know. Just for the the purpose of like it serves a greater purpose. And you're like, oh sorry, this is not because I know like a lot of times you're like, this is collateral. Like if I spray to kill one bug, it's gonna kill a whole bunch of other bugs too, right? Huh. Like if you were to have one bug in the house, which bug would it be? No. <laughs> you're, you're asking the wrong guy. He's like, I kill them all. I don't yeah, know. I but... really enjoy killing these guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. I, I can't. I, I can't, honestly. Yeah, there's nothing, huh? You're like, tarantula, fuck you too, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay no, pets. Pet insects are different. Okay. But as far as like pest yeah insects no yeah they, that makes sense so you wouldn't catch like a random tarantula that was crawling through i was like oh look you know what i'll make this my yeah, pet that's different that's a pet insect but like but he's he talking about pet. like really invasive species yeah. like the ones that infest uh -huh. hundreds or thousands no 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 but like a one tarantula was to crawl into your house you'd be like you know you become my pet now yeah it's like a stray dog yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what? i never understood when we all live together because mm -hmm. for everybody that's watching we all used to live together you used to bring home like brand new pets all the time. And they would be everything from tarantulas to dogs, to cats, to everything. Why is that? <laughs> Maybe I want to just take care of something. Uh, I remember Pugsy. Oh, oh. <laughs> who's Pugsy? It was a black little pug. Oh, I don't think I was there for that. Was that really? Yeah. I don't think I was there. No, you probably moved out. Yeah. probably. Oh. Yeah. 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 I don't remember no pug. So I don't remember that. I remember a black cat. Yo, this is a little off topic, oh, but, but uh, remember that party? Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, was 21st party. 21st. That was, it was great. Man. Dude, I was like Vegas Project X. It was. Time has flown, man. Look at us. Dude, for Look real. at us. No, we really have all come a long way since then. That's crazy. That's facts. I'm so proud of us. That pudding wrestling match? 
Yeah. You can still be it could still be found on YouTube if you guys look for it. No yeah. way. Yeah. yeah you can pull it up. 780,000 right now. No way. It has 708,000 views on it. Jesus. Whose channel is it on? I think it was Andy's. Andy Andy Cam. Damn. Um, he has a monitor. We're gonna play it. We gonna play it on this. We're yeah. gonna play it on this channel right here. <laughs> it's yeah. a horrible video. But yeah, it's because it was shot on like a it was fucking potato cam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it does. It has like that many views right now. Dude, that's crazy. I didn't know. Twenty first, what was that like ten years ago? Yeah. Ten year old eleven years now. Wow. Yeah, that camera sucked. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the same quality as this one. 1080p. Yeah. It's yeah. more like 240. 1080p first. That's probably why it hasn't got removed off YouTube because it's a potato cam. <laughs> <laughs> if you had that shit in HD like it is now, yeah. you know, there was yeah. titties flying and everything for sure. Flagged 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those chicks were like slamming each other into the pond and yeah. stuff. That shit was crazy. Dude, a serious question. Yeah. If aliens were to invade our world, do you think you'll be ready to get rid of them? How big are they? How big are these like, aliens? Apparently, there was a video that went out today, or at that that was just recently caught by a police officer because they got a call in Vegas. In Vegas, and they were saying that like they saw something landing in a parking lot, and there was an eight foot shadow. <laughs> Do you think you're ready to exterminate them? An eight foot alien? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So what, what happened was? Backpack sprayer. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> maybe that maybe water's their weakness. <laughs> Or it could be like B. Hey, what'd you say? Only eight, eight ounces or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> two ounces, bro. <laughs> like yeah. Two ounces? But that's different. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Right. different. I don't think their system is like ours. I mean, you just spray them in the face. Fuck it. See what happens. Yeah, we can try. But yeah, try. Unless it was like the aliens from, um, oh, fuck, what's that movie called? Super Trooper? Yeah, Star Trooper. Star, oh, Star, Star Trooper. Trooper. Super Trooper. Man. Imagine if you had bugs like that. Yeah, that'd be, I don't know. <laughs> I can only imagine. I'd go to war for us all. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. You'd have different type of gear. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They imagine how much you would get paid. Yeah. That'd be tight. That would be pretty cool, actually. You're going to have dreams about this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool if they were like giant insects that were on Earth, but they don't necessarily kill, but they could, but they're huge mm -hmm. and they're a pest. So you call me. Mm. And I got to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're out yeah, there, like, try to, we like, gotta square up, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll spray. You got like a honeybee with the yellow gloves that you're talking about. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Damn, <laughs> only in a dream. <laughs> Should make it happen. Get a bee suit and put somebody in there. Dang, Kayshawn versus uh, Bumblebee. <laughs> that'd be a pretty funny uh, video. Or the aliens are like the actual Transformers. Robots. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> We're screwed. Man. No, I have faith in you, dude. Against a metal robot? Yeah. <laughs> From outer space. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah, you might fuck. Uh, yeah, we're all fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. One of those things will just like wipe out like <laughs> half of the population, I think. Could you imagine if we had an alien that came down that was like a transformer? That thing would probably wipe out like cities easily. Yeah. I would hope we would have like at least one on our side. Like, nah, he, like, he, he find us, like, cute as fuck, you know, like a puppy. Like, oh, look at these cute-ass humans. No, nah, we can't kill them. And then, like, defend us. But it's like a robot, though. So how's it going to get bigger? Unless it, like, transferred its data or something, right? They have to eat uh, more organic material. Would you guys fuck an alien? Transfer it into metal. Hmm. Would you fuck an alien? Whoa, bro. What, would you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if, what if an alien came down and was like eight, no. eight, eight, eight feet tall, you know, and shit was like sexy as fuck? She. I don't know, man. It was sexy as fuck. I'll let you do it, though. I'll let you do yeah, it. I'll take one for the team. Yeah. I don't know, because you, you just don't know. You don't know what yeah, would happen. What if they had like some like crazy galactical STD? Hey, what if it saves the planet? Or the STD gives you superpowers. Hey. Mm. Yeah, you don't know. So it's, it's a dice roll at that point. What if, what if that required them to come on you, though? Is it gay? Because it's alien. How do they gender themselves? I don't know. It just depends on how they identify. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, male and female goes across every species. True. Everything has a... What if they're like frogs? They can turn in... Thing and like, everything has a vagina. What if, what if they're frogs? They have penises. Yeah, but they can also change. So they're... Trans? No, they're not trans. It's just biologically, they'll, 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 their <laughs> genetics will change. Frogs, like if there's not if there's not enough mates, huh? They transition to, a but naturally, not scientifically, with other people's help, but naturally, like that's how their body works. I don't know anything about frogs. Yeah, it was some random fact I came across. Interesting. What would it be like? Some like fucking. <laughs> 
Hey, avatar what? shit. How did this go? <laughs> Some <laughs> avatar shit, you know, because we're already far into the... we were trying to be professional here today. It's because we're far in the episode now. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone watches at this point, they're just a true fan. <laughs> okay. Facts, 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 facts. But what if it was like Avatar? <laughs> You know, they have that tail thing that Anything, plugs out, you know? Anything. And then, wait, wait, hold up. They're like, they're like where's your plug? There's <laughs> nothing plug into your they talk it. No. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, not yet. Yeah, they dock it into your fucking penis hole. Like, whoa, 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 no, it's not my, it's not my tentacle, bro. <laughs> as long as it's blue. Damn. <laughs> I don't know though. The uh, what's her name from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh yeah, she's green. She's pretty hot. The green one. As long as it's Dan green. Thanos's daughter. Yeah. Uh... She was purple. No, she was green. Really? Yeah. Thanos's daughter. What's her name? The one that was a that was more more Maury. Mm. Maori? Zoe Zaldana. Zaldana. That's her. And she was a she was an avatar, wasn't she too? Yeah. She yeah. was. The, uh, she also. Yeah. There you go. She also played Gamora. Avatar. Gamora. 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 Tomorrow's hot. But yeah, what if what if what if aliens were blue or green? Blue, sir. Okay. Yeah, what if aliens were like in Guardians of the Galaxy and they looked like hot? Yeah. I mean I, can, I, I mean, you know But but you then know, but if, then it goes back to the point of what Keishawn was talking about, how there is male and female species. Yeah, so this is a chick with titties, it's green. It's either gonna be that or species that can ju just uh give birth without they're asexual, but they can still reproduce. Mm. Unless they're like the predator. Wait, what does that mean? Predator versus alien? No, with alien. the <laughs> yeah, it's still a penis type thing. Yeah, but that's disgusting. You got a I wouldn't, tongue penis. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck that thing. <laughs> I didn't watch that, so that you never seen you. Alien? I've never seen the. I've, they had that big ass dome head and shit. I've only seen the very first uh, movie. Well, yeah, they got a giant mouth, and then he has a long, skinny mouth. No, I, I think it was was it Predator? You probably watched Predator because he had the yeah. dreads and the fucking. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. was in the forest. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. No, this is Alien. He had like a giant fucking head, like a. He looked like an oversized ant, but reversed. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah, yeah. but I just don't know how they mate. I don't, I don't know. know. I've He's, never seen the actual yeah. movie. They put a baby in you. <laughs> with a, a, with a a but they kill you hope. first. And then the the baby can grow, just like most other things. Mm. But it doesn't have to be the same species. Mm. Do it in anything that's. Do you have to be a female, or just can it be a male too? No, it can be a male. It's like the um. So they're just basically shooting their embryo inside of you. That's already like. Yeah, they're just using your body as a host. Yeah. Yeah, that, you're so it's like a parasite. You're ba yeah, like a parasite, or you're okay. a surrogate to an alien. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But then again, that makes no sense because the newer ones, the newer alien, the newer aliens, uh, I forget. I'm not sure, but is kind of mixed breed. Are they? Like they're well, if you ever see Prometheus, the whole thing is the alien started as a human and then the process went to an alien and then to another type of alien and then back to humans like millions of years ago. I love that movie. That's one of my favorites. Prometheus? Yeah, and the alien movies. The alien movies are sick. To the people out in the world of Vegas, let me take care of all your past problems. I'm available. Ready and willing. Mm. Phone number. 725-290-3033. Reach out. Let me know what I can do for you. What's your Instagram? Instagram. Blue Fire Pest Control. That's it. Is there a website? Bluefirepest.com. Any special promotions? $50 off the initial. No contract. Ooh. Because if you went out of my life, you can go. Ooh. I'm going to hold you. Damn. Just like the bitches. Whoa, bro. <laughs> chill, 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 <laughs> chill. See, I've been telling him to chill out. Hey, <laughs> fuck, there's no chill in my life. <laughs> Everything's so extra. Um, extra. Yes, I'm going to be very chill <laughs> at your house. So, yes, feel free to give me a call. I can definitely handle the issue. Money back guaranteed. Nice. Actually, I can, I'm 100% a voucher for you, so. Bro. Appreciate it. I send man. all of my contacts to you, bro. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Yeah, I'm just trying to work hard for the city, you know? Yeah. Dude, I, got do a you, lot of bugs to kill. Do you think you'll ever get into, like, the casinos? Yeah, I mean, I've already been in the Rio. Um, but, you know, every place in the casinos are privately owned, so it's going to be hard to... You mean the commercial <clears throat> places? Yeah. So do I, they do they have a pest control company specifically just for the actual property? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. That would be a good contract to get, but 
then they gotta do contracts. Yeah. So I mean, for that, yeah, you probably would, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's a big always, fucking payday. I could always write up a contract and do that if I needed to. But that's true. That's a big payday for you. Yeah, you would need. Like, I would assume they do because, especially for the the hotels, you know, yeah. uh, I get a lot of people that bring bed bugs from one of the hotels. Ugh. Yeah, that's how you do it. Just stay somewhere. We bring them back. What, 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 so what's like your? Oh my goodness! Actually, now that you mention it, there was a casino or a hotel downtown, and you know how I was telling you. There's sometimes there's nothing you can do. Mm. They did it. They demolished the building because there was nothing you could do. It was so infested. Really? They demolished the building. What was infested with? Bed bugs and German cockroaches. Oh, and it was man. just so bad. They finally said, "There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up this building." Wow. What are some tips for people like? Because I know like bu bugs are pretty com can be pretty common in hotels and stuff like that. What can you do to like avoid bringing them to your own home? Well, just check the mattresses before you lay on them. Like, go along the seams. Look for any little red blood stains they're really obvious especially on white mattresses so yeah yeah they like hang out in the seams and stuff right yeah. like I, I i used to i'm so fucking paranoid of bed bugs that anytime i go to a hotel i'll always lift the mattress but before i even like open up my suitcase they have like a, a carrier thing where yeah. you just put like your suitcase holder yep. so i put it on there i never put my suitcase or any of my clothes on my bed because you never know yeah and then I'll always lift it up and check if there's like, cause they're always in like the corners and the tiniest <clears throat> little seams. It's so fucking gross, man. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah, it gets pretty nasty. That's for sure. But what yeah, yeah, definitely check your mattresses before you lay on them comfortably. Mm -hmm. And then the only other way to get rid of them if it's like a small problem is what, steam? That's a good way. That's a good chemical free way to do it. Mm. But it would take forever. Yeah. Yeah. But then you have to hit them directly. It's not like uh, residual. You have to hit the bug directly with the steam. Mm. So, where if you like chemically treat it, then you can just spray it there, and then they'll go to that part, and then they'll just die. Yep. Is it one of those things where like it dries them out too, or how does that work? Like a boric acid or a de earth? Mm, I don't think so, <clears throat> but de earth works pretty good for bed bugs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just have to sleep in powder though. Yeah. Yeah, you you should see some of the houses I go into before before they call me. They're like, "Oh, I tried this," <laughs> and it's just white powder everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, "Oh, yeah, you tried it." <laughs> <laughs> Let me try something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's a real story right there. Yeah, I've I've seen so many things. Twelve years doing this, it never gets old. Thank you for watching Waku Radio. If you got pest control problems, you know, hit up our boy, Blue. Fire pest control. <laughs> and on that note, hit like, subscribe, notification button, comment below your bug stories. Yeah. And you know, when the bugs come knocking at your door, who do you call? Blue K Fire. K Sean. Yes, from sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Life of a hustler. Shut me out. Uh. Life of a hustler. You see me on the road. I'm in hustle mode. Real estate mogul. Commercial real estate.